Introducing Sis Handmaid's newest weaving kit for children and adults, inspired by the perennial gardens of Schenectady, New York's oldest house, the Brower House Flower Kit. It includes a flower loom, mini shuttle, tapestry needle, cotton warp, and a yarn cake weft. The wool is sourced from Hudson Valley Shepherds, milled into yarn at Bat and Kill Fibers, and botanically hand dyed at the Brower House Creative in upstate New York. Let's get started. Warp the loom with a cotton fiber that's wrapped around the mini shuttle. Start between any two petals to start forming the first warp and end between the 13th petal dividing the flower in half. The first and last petal will start to take shape. Take a warp under tension and crisscross around the back. Rotate the warp between the next petal. Crisscross over the front under tension and crisscross the same way in the back. Repeat this process going all the way around the flower loom until the petals are all formed. Weave by going over the warp on the front and back, then go under the front and back warps. Repeat this process, passing over and under. Start drawing the threads together in the center as the pistil of the flower starts to emerge. Make two knots around one of the warp threads with each tail and cut the remaining tails with scissors. Cut a piece of wool from the yarn cake about a body's length. Wind the yarn around the shuttle for ease of use or use the tapestry needle instead. Begin weaving by bringing the shuttle up between two warp threads and down between two warp threads. Repeat this process until all the yarn fills up in the center of the flower. With the tail, string your tapestry needle and hide the threads by placing the needle up through the weft threads. Cut the other tail. Make a hook for your flower with scrap yarn and enjoy your finished woven piece by placing on a store handle or hook. Have fun and be inspired and let us know how it goes.